Hey guys, so I'm gonna be your narrator for the next couple weeks because uh, Santi needs a break. So yeah, I'm gonna Dude, I'm gonna try and be. Come on, come on, you're already copying Santi. No, I'm not. I'm trying to be original here. This entire skit right now was copying Santi. Oh, no, no, it's God. not. Come on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys, Isaac here, president of the Fishing Club. I'm inviting all of you guys to come check out the club. It's a lot of fun. We meet every Wednesday at lunch, room 720. Uh, that's Mr. Settle's room. Um, we schedule at least uh, one fishing trip a week um, where all the members just go out and fish together. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, just come check it out. I'm sure you enjoy it. Hey Grizzlies! All boys soccer tryouts are from November 11th through on November 15th from 3.15 to 5.15 after school. 9th and 10th grade tryouts will be at Hollandia. 11th and 12th will be at the upper field. Be sure to spread the word. Go Grizzlies! Hey girls, if you're interested in playing soccer, make sure you're turning your paperwork into the trainer's office before tryouts on November 13th. Freshmen and JV tryouts are daily from 3 to 5 on the upper grass field. Varsity tryouts are here in the stadium from 7 to 9 on Mondays and Thursdays, and Tuesdays and Wednesdays are from 3 to 5. Bring water, cleats, scars, and your running shoes. Make it a great season, girl! Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Redlings. I teach geometry, and I've created some online resources for all the geometry students in our school. You can access them in our Google Classroom with the code PJ0810. And um, some of the examples include videos of how to do constructions um, or step-by-step -step examples of how to solve problems. Hey guys, this is Miss Nelson with physics. Uh, we had eight physics classes do the age drop project. They had to brainstorm research and uh, produce multiple designs that could protect an egg. Uh, they had some limitations, so that's normal with engineering. You have different limitations, whether it's money or materials or size, um, and they had to come out here and see if their egg survives. So some classes, it was like 75% survived, some it was maybe half, uh, but we had a fun time, and uh, this is one of their big project grades for the year. Two, one, drop. Oh. oh. <laughs> Aiden. Jackson. Three, two, one. Jack <laughs> Garrett. Oh my God. I don't know. Three, two, one, drop. Dude, pull. I think it works. Yeah, it's good. Three, two, one. There's no one. Yeah. That seems to so well. Except it's like the time's too big. Okay. Wait. That works. That works. One. Scissors. Scissors. Hey, good morning Grizzlies. This is Mr. Marquette talking to you about the upcoming solar project. Hopefully you all know that we're going to have some uh, solar panels installed here shortly. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a bit of, a, of the plan. So the whole district is going to go through this solar panel project. We're in phase one. We're going to save about $30 million over the course of 20 years. So we're excited about doing this and we're actually excited about being one of the first to do it, get it out of the way. Phase one's gonna take November 11th through December 8th. That's gonna be mostly in the staff parking lot. It's not gonna affect the students too much, but just so you're aware, we will be losing some spots in the student parking lot, the upper two rows. So when you come in on Monday, there will be some fencing in the student parking lot. Please plan, plan accordingly. Here's the back staff parking lot. This is where they're gonna start. Again, that's not gonna affect students very much at all. The phase two will take December 8th through January 12th, we're going to lose 253 spots in the student parking lot. That's where you guys are going to be affected. Here you see on the map, phase one is in yellow. That's going to happen here very quickly come Monday. 
The big part in red, phase two, is going to happen weeks later, probably sometime in December if everything goes according to plan. And that's when you guys are going to need to make sure you have a parking permit and you're going to move up to Hollandia Park. So make sure you have your parking permit. Think about carpooling and give yourself extra time to get here. We don't want you to be late. We've got some good news. We've got extra spots. We're not parking at the church. The city's opened up Hollandia Park for us. There's 250 spots up there. We will open the crow's nest, the gate that walks right on the campus. So you park up at Hollandia and you come right down. And again, this is gonna start on Monday, but the student lot isn't gonna be affected until December. Here's an aerial shot of our campus. Right here is Hollandia Park. Here's where you guys are gonna be parking and come right down here onto campus. This is 300, 400, 500, 600. You're going to park up here and come right on the campus. We're hoping that this all goes smoothly and with your cooperation, we can get through it. Thanks, Grizzlies. Okay, dude, seriously, get out of here. Uh, no, I can't. Why? Hey, what's that over there? What? Make Nothing. it a great day, Grizzlies! Oh, come on, that's my life. Oh, get, get away from me. Hey, Grizzlies! Bye.